Hi, welcome to Online Photo Submission by CloudCard. Today we're going to help you get started with online photo submission. And so you've successfully logged into the application for the very first time. You're looking at this pending photos page and you may not know what to do, but that's okay. We're going to walk you through it. Okay, the first thing you need to do is get some users into the system so that they can start submitting photos to you. So the easiest way to do that is to click over here to the People tab. There is a way to bulk import uh, users, but uh, we'll talk about that in a different video. So today we're just going to go ahead and click the Add button. And then we're going to type the email address of one of our users. And click the Save button. So what that is going to do is it's going to create a user and it's going to bring me to that user's uh, page. Uh, there's nothing we need to do here, so we'll just go ahead and click back to the people page, but we can see that user been, has been created. Now, behind the scenes, Online Photo Submission has uh, emailed out a, uh, an invitation to that user uh, inviting them to submit their photo um, for your organization. So let's uh, jump over to that user's email box, okay, and we can see uh, there's an email that just came in. It's an invitation uh, to submit the photo. So let's go ahead and just click upload your photo. Now this is a, is a secure login link and what that does is it actually logs them into the application um, automatically so they don't have to set a username and password because they're only going to be in there once. They're just going to submit a photo and they'll be done. Um, so they'll have uh, right in the middle of their screen they'll just have a, a, an upload box. So they go ahead and click that and um, select a photo. Now this works, I'm using a computer right now, but this works with any uh, computer or mobile device, phones, tablets, Android, iOS, whatever. Um, so go ahead and click that. And now your, uh, your user is done. They've successfully submitted their photo. Uh, let's jump back over to your screen and see what happened on the back end. So we'll jump over here to the photos view. Now that was the page that we started out on initially. But now we have a photo that we get to process, okay? There's two things we can do with a photo. Um, well, there's actually a few, but there's two that we're going to talk about today. One is denying the photo, right? If the photo doesn't look good, and it's, uh, uh, you can go ahead and select one of the reasons. Uh, you know, maybe they're wearing sunglasses and a hat. Or maybe it's not one of the reasons from the list, and we can go ahead and type in some other reason here, right? Uh, and that, that will uh, actually create an email and be sent to the user and ask them to uh, to submit a new photo. It'll say, and it'll let them know the reason why the photo was denied. But this photo looks fine, so let's go ahead and approve it, which is this button right here. So we click the thumbs up, and that approves the photo. Now you might have more photos on here that, uh, so you could go ahead and continue to process them. But when you're done processing uh, your pending photos, you can go over here and click approved, and you see all the photos that have been approved. Any of these photos can then be downloaded. So you click the download link. Right, and that creates a zip file um, of your downloaded pho photos. So I'll go ahead and click that zip file, and it opens up on my screen. And there I can see um, the photo that the user submitted, um, and it's named with the user's either their username or if you included an ID number, it might be named with that as well, depending on how your system is set up. And um, that is it for the whole process. You uh, went to the people page, you clicked add, and created a user by just entering their email address. That user received an email inviting them to use CloudCard. They clicked the link. They uploaded their photo. That brought them, and then on your end, you were able to, uh, in the pending photos page, process their pending photo. Then jump over to the approve page, approve their photo, and download their photo. And it's just that easy. Thanks for your time today.